Some people only have $4 to spend on food each day. It's not enough money to buy a $5 footlong, but nearly 21,000 people, or 8% of those living in Lincoln, make it work by living off food stamps. In order to help those who need help but are frustrated by the red tape, the Food Bank of Lincoln launched a program to help get people on the Supplemental Nutritional Assistance Program, or SNAP, in 2009. People can buy nearly any type of food, like anything that surrounds me when they're on food stamps. However, the process of getting on the program can be complicated and frustrating. The application alone is 23 pages long, or about as thick as this sheaf of paper. Food bank outreach workers work year-round going to mobile pantries or events helping low-income people. Three women working at the Food Bank of Lincoln, like Mary Arter, help smooth over the frustrations people have so they can apply for federal aid, which is about $121 per month per person for the average family. She says it is important to help people because food stamps can give them the boost they need to get their lives started again. Arter remembers helping a man who got back on his feet after being on SNAP for nearly two years. That just helped him get through in his family of two children until they got going again. Now they both have jobs, him and his wife, and they're doing well. A national grant from Feeding America kicked off the food bank's involvement with helping people get on SNAP over three years ago, and now private donations finance 80% of the local effort. Last year, the Food Bank of Lincoln joined forces with the Omaha Food Bank for a focused statewide effort. Employees often travel to rural parts of the state to help people out as well. This is important because yearly deadlines to a reapply can't be missed. Everything's in time for everything. If they're late, if they need to send something in by April 7th and they get it in there April 8th, then their case will be closed and they'll most likely have to start all over again. The food bank works with the Department of Health and Human Services where people go when they need government benefits. Alex Shada, Public Relations Director for the Food Bank of Lincoln, says most grocery stores accept food stamps and they get $9 back from the government for every five SNAP dollars spent to help subsidize the program. We think that if we can extend these people's um, income a little bit by providing them a little bit of food or some money for food, then um, they're able to pay bills or pay other necessities that they have to take care of. The future of the SNAP program will be debated in the Nebraska legislature this session. Legislative Bill 330 would increase the gross income limits required to apply for food stamps, meaning more Nebraskans could join the program. Shada says he hopes the bill passes, but the food bank will work hard to help those in need, regardless of the outcome. A lot of these people have been judged and been put through a lot throughout their life, and uh, I think it's refreshing for them to be able to sit down with somebody that's truly trying to help them and help connect them and their family to some benefits.